Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMo. Today we have an interesting equation. We have 3 to the power x equal to 8 to the power x plus 2. And take a look, on the first side, this equation is real hard because we have different bases, different exponent. And how can you do this? Take a look. Let's learn this rule. 8 to the power x plus y equal to 8 to the power x times a to the power y. This is a really good rule because we can easily use this rule right here on the right. What we will have? We will have 3 to the power x equal to 8 to the power x times 8 square. Just use this rule right here on the right. This is a good rule to, to know, to remember. So learn this or remember this rule. Okay, we can simplify this one. We'll have 64. So let's do this. We will have 3 to the power x equal to 8 to the power x times 64. Because 8 square is equal to 64. What are we going to do in our case? The main rule to solve this kind of equation is to divide both sides by, for example, 3 to the power x or 8 to the power x. So let's divide both sides by, for example, 8 to the power x. So let's do this. What we will have? 3 to the power x dividing by 8 to the power x equal to 8 to the power x times 64 dividing by 8 to the power x. So we just divide both sides by x, by 8 to the power x. So nothing change. But take a look, from here we can cancel it easily and we will have our equation. We will have 3 to the power x over 8 to the power x equal to 64. So let's let's work with, with this equation. The next rule we need is to write right here, I write this rule right here, if we have a to the power x over b to the power x, we can write it under one parenthesis and raise a over b to the power x. So we can write this one, this rule, we take this rule right here, and we can easily write that this one will be equal to 3 over 8 all raised to the power x equal to 64. So what we're going to do next? Take a look. This is, looks like a log because from right here we have a fraction, but doesn't matter. It looks like log. We take a log from both of the side, but what a base. Let's take log base of 3 over 8. Then we will have only our x, and this is a little bit faster for us. We will have log base of 3 over 8 on the left equal to log base of 3 over 8 on the right. So let's take log from both of the side, from the right one, 64, and from the left one, 3 over 8, all raised to the power x on the left one. So take a log from both of the sides. And take a look. We know the log property. If we have log a base of a, it will be equal to 1. So I write this rule right here. Log a base of a equal to 1. So if we have the same, these two elements, it will be equal to 1. And right here we have same element, so this will be equal to 1. And moreover, if you have a power right here, this power jump in the beginning. So right here, this x jump in the beginning right here behind this log as a result we will have that only our x on the left equal to log 64 base of 3 over 8 and this will be our answer of course you can simplify this you're writing uh, answer is log base of 10 but i want to let this right here because this is answer you can easily calculate this on our on your telephone and of course, if you're interested in the log, you can write it as base of 10. You will have log 64 divided by log 3 over 8. <clears throat> Remember a few rules, learn a few rules, this one, this one, and this one. If you if you know this, if you if you don't know, write your question in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment. If you still have any question about this solution, it will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting thumbs up. I really appreciate it and see you in the next videos.